How good is Bran? Why isn't the Zolf Beasts the Nods? Bonehead, right? Bonehead is a great start. Probably better than Scally. Scally really good as well. Oliech, let's say hello. Crazy not because the strategy is crazy, because I'm crazy. Pretty strong, eh? Incredible. Your power outshines all others. So we have guaranteed the uh, two on town here for two G. Scallywag is good. I like Scallywag. I, I also think pirates are great. Pirates are great. Undeads are great. Beasts are great. We can do a lot of shit with the fish. Incredible. Your power outshines all Okay. Others. Um Hummingbird Goose is good, but the Ripsnarl Scallywag is also good. Do we want to go more into the direction of uh, beasts though? Since beasts are just like super powerful with uh, fish. We can take both technically speaking. That yeah, Rift Knight is the tempo daddy. Could also just go scout if you want to be a bit greedy. Yeah, let, let's go pirates for now. Pirates are also really good with fish, right? What makes beasts powerful? I mean, you can do Leapfrogger, or you can do Mukla Trinket, but they're both late game things. Not sure how powerful beasts are until the late game. And we know pirates are great at this stage of the game. Yeah. Let's play the thing that uh, is the safest. Don't love buying the bonehead here, but should be okay. We're preparing for the next turn. What do we even want from the next turn? We can do a bunch of shenanigans here. I do have some ideas. Are we taking the scout into a 6? It really depends on what trinket I get next turn. Next turn trinket is going to decide a lot of things. Marin is still on 2. Oh, because he picked Yorktastic Pastry. Ha <laughs> ha That's a very fun thing to pick as your first trinket. Then you get the wheel of Yorksar on every single turn for the rest of the game. Kind of good value. Trinkets are kind of like quests, but you skip the boring part. I mean, anomalies are kind of like quests, but they're instant. At least like paying some money makes it feel like somewhat fair. We can pick the money, or we can also go the wheel, the wheel way. Oh. 
I don't think Will on Azov is good. Let's pick the money. And see, now I'm gonna open this so I can level. It's on curve. So anyway, I started blasting. Is Firestone up to date? The developer is working on making everything up to date as soon as possible. The app is functional for tracking your session and like showing you the tribes. Minion list is still updating and it, it will even have a trinket list on tiers. I'll restart Firestone after this game. Maybe it like um, works after the last update. Victory seems assured. What am I drinking? Tea. Magic is the wild we found the best pirate in the game. Battle. The flag bearer. Maybe just bang the money and buy a scout. So fish is really good because every pirate now is gonna have a death rattle. Isn't that insane? Yeah, fish should be before uh, reap. I mean, now we're looking for Titus and we can actually build Exodia pirates. That's kind of my idea here. Yeah, we can do some pretty crazy plays here. I like it. Victory seems assured. Would you rather have the option to pay for the trinket later or do you like it as it is? I like it as it is because of simplicity. Like, yeah, you have to plan a little bit for it and adapt on the fly. But that's some of the things that make the game fun, right? We found Titus. That's huge. Huge if troll. So this is like one of the best new combos. Sky Pirate Flag Bearer makes every single pirate a scallywag, which gets doubled by Titus and gets doubled by Fish. Think about it. It's pretty insane. And then I have the trinket that gives me money. You can't go wrong with this one. Money is always good. And then let's see what uh, greater trinket we can pick to um, assist our board. Like one of the best ones would get uh, Titus has stealth. Then we are kind of like unbeatable mode with our pirates. And thinking about it, I don't even think we need to go to 6. We can stay on Tavern 5 and like do most of the shit. Oh, we want Eliza. Yeah, the money one is like getting an oil every turn. Ugh. Pretty much. Yeah, let's pray together for Stealth Titus. If we get Stealth Titus, this is like a, such a big win. He's not my Titus first attack. Can we still get there? Ah, we lost the frogs. 
He's 9th Titus, first attack. Minus 15. That's why Taunt is good. Maybe I should have kept the Taunt. Magic is the wild card in every battle. Karazhan Chess said. Gain one gold. This is pretty good. I don't think Chess set is that good, is it? Candle is tons of money, yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, let's go chest. We are nothing without our allies. Sometimes change is necessary. Ready to rise. This should be GG. Second flag bearer. Yeah, we have maximum money. Dude, the guy just left. Do they stack? Yes, they stack. Two gold. Not that much money, is it? But I guess it's taxed with everything and we're gonna have a ton of money. Incredible. Your power outshines all others. Well, things are quite a bit more magical. Is there any now. freedom that we want? Macau? Macau doesn't help us here, right? If I get gold on Macau, do I people to beasts? I don't even know if you want to triple that. Yeah, you may you get weaker if you triple that. We are nothing without our allies. Why not? Because with two of them, you give every pirate two one ones. Uh, with one golden, you give every pirate one uh, two two. Yeah, you want to earth mother them, not triple them. Cruise controller is better than Rip Snarl. I'll make this one. Yes! Though. First set contraption. Is going for Earth Mother even worth it? Um, Earth Mother, one of them allows you to buy another yes! one. So that would be a reason to Earth Mother one of them. Not two. Radrex, thank you for the sub. I also want uh, Eliza. But you want Eliza Golden Titus, that's more important. Eliza Golden Titus is super important. We should beat this no problem. If my calculations are in order. Okay, imagine Eliza here. You're gonna ski like crazy. Oh, 
Also, it's really good to have the pirate that buffs the rest of the pirates at the beginning. Because uh, the way it's gonna work with fish is perfect. Oh, also, you want to golden the fish. Goldening the fish might be like number one priority. So the first golden goes on the fish. The second golden goes on the flag beggar. Incredible. Your power outshines all others. Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. A fine start. Be sure you have sufficient Maybe taunting this is not bad. I'll go for some stats just to not we lose to some random crap. Again, don't want to do that. Terrible rolls. If I can make golden fish, get yes. Eliza, I just win. So yeah, both my trinkets give me money. I would like the five drop that summons Caliwags. I would like to triple this. I would like to make golden cards, one for the fish and one for the flag bear to get another flag bear. Then I want golden titus and I want to cut, cut. That's kind of uh, how I visualize this. And I think we can be able to beat anything on Nizov. I don't even know if I want Reborn on the fish. I don't even know if I need Reborn on the fish. Victory seems assured. Yes! Moe, thank you for the three months. Hey, Nari, I'm gonna restart and check for an update. Multiple people are telling me that uh, Firestone works uh, perfectly right now. I mean, it works for me with the tribes, but apparently it also updated the minions. We can check after this game, okay? Thank you so much for streaming so devotedly. Thank you for watching, I'm just playing a video game. Okay, here we go. Big stats. I don't know if we're big enough to win. Do we have enough minions? I definitely regret that he born on that. Dude, we're getting there. Imagine if you make this golden. Animation central. Jesus. Poor guy. Second Titus. The plot thickens. Wait, did Akanisha have anything good for us? No, right? Thirty G. Yeah, I don't want to triple that yet. No need for Macau. Earth Mother on this should make it insane. Scallion, or do we not even need that? I don't know if we even need the Rapscallion. With Flag Bear, I don't even think you need it. Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. We're looking for the big shit. We are nothing without our allies. Well, this is coming together. Do you have the same problem as me that you're thinking about bodies when picking your heroes? 
Huh, initially, yes, but you have to just like think about the Higo power. So the way you solve it is erase from your mind how you felt about the Higo because of their body in the previous meta game. Just think of the Higo's Higo power. For example, this game I start, I look at my heroes, I go, hmm, Zolf. We have beasts, we have undead, we have pirates. Let's go. Can they snipe my fish? I guess they can. There you have it. Best of the best. This guy has a Titus. Stealthed. Yeah, I wish I had his trinket. But he probably wishes he has my hero. You know why I'm happy if he's strong. It kept my summons because of the order. Did you guys see that? Top two versus beasts. You are an impressive one, even to an aspect. Wow. I don't know if we need Eliza, we have a uh, cruise controller. Only the best for you. Peanut, anyone? I'll go for another body. Out for a light stroll. Go to my teeth, go to my hat. I'll make this one disappear. Be sure you have sufficient forces on your side. By fate or fortune. Tedis is still a pirate after all. He's gonna work well. So this guy is playing um, beasts and has given their portrait uh, trinket. Wasn't 2020 on the fish really good? I'm not really worried about my fish dying. The best card to get here is another flag bearer. Also another Titus would help, but since this guy has Titus as well, it's probably like very difficult to... Uh, probably very difficult to assume that um, there's that many more in the game left. Because there probably aren't. Victory seems assured. Let's see what this guy is playing. I'm actually curious. That's a great snipe. It screws over a lot of his board. That's also a great snipe. Dude, we're gonna kill his entire board before the fight even starts. Bro is not even going to be able to attack. Poor guy.
Wait, that frog came back from the dead? Guys, wait for the fish to activate. It's a golden fish with golden titus. Kills my Eliza, but because we have the Titus, I still think we're gonna win. Not sure if he's gonna be lethal, but I'm sure we're gonna win. Okay, get ready. Can we deal 600 damage? My opponent doesn't seem happy about this. Armor saved him. That was a sight to behold, friend. We have all the money in the world. Another Titus! Wait, 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 wait! We can make it golden! Only the best this is why having money is that good. Will turn the tide. Money can buy you anything. In game. I want to triple that. Who dares disturb us? You didn't make the cut. No one also, another flag bearer is like really good. Do we even need Eliza? Or do we go for another flag bearer? Without our allies. We have the cruise controller for the stats. The scourge will consume you. Victory seems assured. Basically, I'm hoping that cruise controller is enough and that we don't need Eliza. I mean, with double golden Titus, he's gonna be criminal. This is like one minion attacking for me, by the way. He's gonna have a lot of stats. I don't know if we have enough to win. This is a crazy game here. I mean, we also got the best attack possible. Is he actually winning?
Maybe we needed Eliza. But now, now we proc it again. And now every minion is gonna deal a lot of damage. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, be right back. He's still going. If I skip the next combat, I have to disconnect to be able to like actually play the turn. This is ridiculous. This might be like the longest combat in recorded Battlegrounds history. I mean, I don't know if we can deal 5,000. If we can deal 5,000, we won. We lost. The guy left? How do you fail? Wait, what happened? Why did the guy leave? Did I beat him in the next fight? Maybe I win here. Yeah, I lost the combat. I lost the combat. Do you want to watch the combat or should I skip it? We sniped this guy. Now we just win. Now we win. Now we win. Now we win. Now we win. So I think what happened is he also watched the combat. And then uh, he couldn't do his turn either. And then he couldn't heal power with the rapid animation. So we won because our combats got skipped and the guy didn't disconnect. Yeah, I mean, Blizzard probably didn't think there was anything wrong gonna happen if you give Titus stealth and if you make this pirate. Either way, it's exciting. Guys, I had 64 gold that I haven't used either. Do you think his single power was better than 64 gold? I think if we both got to play our turns, I would still win. Hope you.
Can you give us a TLDR of what the fuck happened? Yeah, this pirate makes every single pirate a scallywag. And it stacks with Titus, it stacks with fish. And then there's a pirate that buffs every single pirate's uh, attack. This guy. First win of the day. First win of the season. Let's go, baby. So yeah, basically, cruise controller buffs your pirates. This guy makes every pirate do pirates. Same, same. Firestone has crashed. Lol.